no face today, aren't you lucky? <laughs> the colours I'm using are Perfect White, Dusty Pastel Green, Pure Cloud and Light Lilac, all from Madam Glam. And you can save 50% off this month using my code NATMUG50. It's only... It will only work on full priced items. So if you are buying the bundle, I think the bundle's discounted, but if you want to buy any of the colours, if you put them in your basket individually at the full price and then add the discount code, it should work. Okay. As far as I'm aware, it should work that way. So just a little tip. <clears throat> so for this set of nails, it's actually a recreation set. I'll put the recreation set on the video uh, on the screen here. I thought it was just so lovely. Um, I'm only going to do three nails today. Um, but we're, we're putting Dusty Pastel Green, Pure Cloud and Light Lilac on the nail. And we're going to use the ombre brush, Madame Glam's ombre brush, just to blend those colours together. Now this is only the first coat, so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. But get them as blended as you can. And when you move on to the next blend, like I'm going to move up to the top now. I'm just going to wipe off the colour. Squidge out the excess colour onto a onto a wipe and then I'm just going to move on to the purple and blue and I just flick the brush backwards and forwards working it up and down slightly just to help the colours to blend together and then once I'm happy with that that will go in my lamp for 30 seconds and um, the the Madden Glam gel paints need a 30 second cure um, so that's it done I'm going to give it a two coats and then I'm going to do the same thing on the other nails Okay, so we're using Madame Glam's base coat now. I'm going to pop a bit of this onto my palette. And then I'm going to take the application brush. This one still had some product in it. <laughs> You'll see. Um, oh, this is Ethereal Glitter from Nail Sugar. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm running the brush through my base coat. And you'll see some of the previous colour coming up. So I didn't, I didn't clean my brush very well. <clears throat> Can you see it on the brush? I'm just going to squidge off. Yeah, there we go. Um, so bit of base coat on the nail. You only need a thin coat. You don't need like a thick coat. Just a nice thin coat. And then I'm going to pick up some of that ethereal glitter. And I'm going to... We're not going to jam pack it on. We're going to kind of do a bit of a sprinkle and we're going to put it at the top and at the bottom right can you see where i had color in my brush that it's kind of it's covering up the glitter a little bit it looks like there's gel polish over the glitter but it's not it's just and also you'll find as well um if you are if you're using a dark color i would wipe the tacky layer off of the dark color because no, it doesn't even have to be a dark colour. Sometimes you end up with pigment in the tacky layer. And when I'm adding base coat and glitter, sometimes it ends up over the top of the glitter. So I'm, I don't know if I'm explaining it very well. Um, but you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean in a little bit once I've done all three nails. I don't know if you can notice it very well on this one. But on the glitter at the top, you can see it looks like it's got little dabs of gel polish on it. But it's, it's just the... Oh, I don't know if I'm I don't know if I'm explaining it very well. But anyway, look, I've put some glitter at the top and the bottom. I'm gonna cure that in the lamp. And I'm gonna do exactly oh yeah, so look this time I'm gonna wipe off the tacky layer. I've also made sure that the brush is clean. <laughs> right, and then look, I've added some glitter and yeah, this is the second nail I was just showing you. Uh was I sure? Yeah, anyway, I'll, oh I don't know what's happening. <laughs> look, look at the middle nail compared to the other three. It's got something over. Looks like it's got the. It looks like it's got a bit of polish on the. Do you see what I mean? Anyway, look, I've gone over with base coat just to smooth it out. Then, using a wipe again, I'm just going to wipe the tacky layer off that base coat. And then I've got a little. Can you see that little? What's that thing called? An eyeshadow applicator. I'm going to use one of those. So using Madame Glam's Perfect White, I'm going to put a dollop on my palette. And then with the applicator, you just kind of dab the gel polish on the end of the sponge. And we're going to dab it onto the nail to create clouds. You can do as many or as few as you want. I kind of done about three or four, I think, on each nail. So it's just going to make the top bit look more like the sky. 
I love doing clouds. They're probably one of, I don't do them very often or not, oh do I? No, I mean, I don't do them as often as I do marbles, but I do like doing like clouds, especially with like a spongy eyeshadow applicator. I think it's, yeah, easy peasy. I'm gonna do this, the same on the last nail and then I'll pop it in the lamp. And I'm going to velvet matte top coat these. You can leave them shiny, but I think they look better velvet matte top coated but it's it, you know if you recreate them it's up to you it's not up to me it's up to you so you can do whatever you prefer right we're gonna make the butterfly now this is this is the hard part right this is madam glam's it's not hard it's just it took me so long um this is madam glam's blush peony acra gel they do sell acra gel um i've just started to shape out the butter it's, we're gonna make a butterfly did i say that i don't know um it took oh i'll tell you what just get a just get an already made butterfly because it's just so much easier <laughs> you could probably get like a butterfly thing from shein or something i don't know but i'm patting the acra gel out into a butterfly shape i've that so this is where i'm at now it doesn't have to be perfect because i am gonna go over it with a, a little e-file bit but i'm gonna pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds i'm gonna wipe off the tacky layer and then using my Melody Susie e-file and this like little tiny e-file bit, I'm just gonna neaten up the outside edge. If you've got a hand file, you can use a hand file, but the, it was very small and the e-file bit just was a lot easier to use than, yeah, than a, the bit. I'm gonna smooth out the top, just wipe, rubbing it on my file. And then I do give it, I do give it a wipe and then I've got, I think that says Dreamy Blue. Isn't that blue lovely? It reminds me of Matty, their gel polish Matty. I've got purple and white gel polishes. And we're just going to start adding the colour to our butterfly. So I was trying to co copy the colours that they'd used on, on their one. It didn't turn out as nice as theirs. <laughs> also, make sure you get the edge. Because it, it's alright getting the top bit. But if you've got this on the nail and you see the the at the sides and they're just like aqua gel that you can't see the color it's going to look a bit naff so make sure you get the sides as well so i've put blue on i'm then going to move on to let's just wipe off the excess blue then i'm going to put some white on but i am going to use the the little what do you call it what's that thing called that we use this the eyeshadow applicator the little sponge i'm going to use that to blend the colours together it actually works really well so I'm kind of doing some of it with my brush here but I'm not doing a very good job <laughs> look grab your sponge a clean bit and if you just sort of dab and press look it kind of blends it together really nicely who'd have thought a lot of the whites disappeared now <laughs> oh I just a little bit too much uh, also i got some blue on the form so i was just going to wipe that off because i didn't want it to cure and then me have this little splodge of gel paint sticking up because i'd have to file it again and i didn't i didn't i didn't really want that and then i kind of i don't know what i'm doing here i'm gonna add the white i thought i'd go in with a purple but i'm gonna add white to the bottom and then again and then again what nats i don't really know i can't see because the recording box is in the way it's so annoying we're adding a bit of white i think i add some purple do i add some purple i just don't know i just don't know what to do with myself what am i doing here i can't see it's very annoying this is just white yes this is just white okay wipe off the excess then go in with your purple and again, I, I had to use the sponge for this bit. Dab, 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 dab. And it kind of just blends the colours together. So much easier. Can you see? That looks quite cute. I tried to make the send. If you looked at the original photo, they've kind of got like the, the centre of the butterfly is kind of the, it's got like a darker purple to it. So I was just trying to blend it in, but make sure that there was some dark purple left. And like, yeah, do you see what I've done? Dab, 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 dab. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> 
and I pop it in the lamp before I completely ruin it. And then using the black gel paint, you're going to add on some detail. So we're going to put the black line through the middle and then you're going to outline the outside of the wings. I really enjoyed doing this bit. It's really awkward though because it's so tiny. But it's probably not the tiniest butterfly that's ever been made. I don't know. I don't know. So just do that bottom one as well. I made sh the, the outside edge was thicker than the inside bits because on the outside edge, we're going to put little dots. You see butterflies with little white dots on the edge of their wings, don't you? So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And it will need a 60 second cure. If you don't want to cure it yet, you don't have to, but you will have to start adding some detail to the wings. I At this point, I ended up Googling butterfly images to try and get a kind of similar like sh a similar sh uh you know they've got the little veins through the wings i was trying to find something that i could use to copy the i feel like i'm i feel like i'm really waffling <laughs> you probably am if you don't want to make the butterfly skip forward <laughs> So once I put all the veins in, I will stick it in the lamp for 60 seconds. The gel paints are a lot more pigmented, so they do need a longer time. They need a longer time curing in the lamp. So the gel polish is 30 seconds in an LED. The um, gel paints are 60 seconds in an LED. I will put this in the lamp eventually. <laughs> Bluminate that, sorry up. There we go. Okay, now using a dotting tool, I'm just going to dab on the dots around the edge. And then again, pop that lamp for 60 seconds. Then I'm going to use the Savvy Land. It's like a builder gel, a clear builder gel. It's very cheap. I got it from Amazon because I'd run out of my other stuff. So I thought I'd give this a go. And it's not, it's not, it's not great, but for me, it does the job. <laughs> I tried to make the wings a little bit more 3D. So I put a little bit of blob, a little bit of blob, a little blob on that wing, and then I'm going to cure it. And then I was going to put another blob on this wing and cure it. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the little tiny two wings, but it just made it look more, it didn't have the effect that I wanted. <laughs> so I'm using some isopropyl alcohol, or it might be gel cleanser actually, I'm not sure what it is, to remove that tacky layer. I do find that that Savvy Land gel um, does have a, um, the tacky layer needs, it's quite a, it's quite a weird tacky layer, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, these little flowers, I love these, do you remember these? I've got some that when you put them in the lamp, they change colour. So I decided I've got these ones don't change colour. I'm going to use the pink ones and these green ones. The green ones go yellow in my lamp under UV light. So I thought I'd use the yellow ones or the green ones that go yellow and the pink ones. And using the green gel paint, I'm just painting on the stem of the little flowers. So it's just like one curved long line. And then add two more little curved lines coming out of that. And also a leaf. That was Pips. There we go. And because these gel paints don't have a tacky layer, you can work on top of a top coat now. I'm using Rachel Wilder's Crystal Fix, which I get from Crystal Parade. You can save 10% off the Crystal Fix from Crystal Parade using my code NATMUG10. So using the Crystal Fix, like, I'm just going to plop those little flowers on. I don't know if I told you you can get 10% off nail sugar as well using my code NATMUG10. I might have missed that. I probably did. Right, they can go in for 60 seconds now because that gel, um, the Crystal Fix needs 60 seconds as well. That's going to keep them flowers in place. And then I'm, I've put a blob of Crystal Fix on this now, which I didn't show on the camera for some reason. We're going to add two more little flowers and then to finish off the flowers I grabbed some rose gold caviar beads inside a bit of crystal fix like I'm just gonna run them through that crystal fix 
and then pick a few or one up sorry and then they're gonna sit nicely inside those like resin flowers and it just looks like the inside of the flower it's so cute there we go so again that will have 60 seconds in my lamp that is them done i'll show you the finished although there's only three but the original the original person had five so <laughs> anyway thanks for watching i hope you like this video if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing it's completely free um and you can always change your mind later otherwise rather you stayed because i need help <laughs> god bless love you all and i will see you in the next one love you bye